Yeah, you know, we're, we're called Vault Beat, but style-wise, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a mixture of a lot of different styles, metal, rock and roll, rockabilly, country, punk. Uh, for us, it's never been important to, uh, you know, to go for one style. So, you know, we mix it up and it turns out to be Vault Beat. And uh, it seems that the, your audience uh, likes that too. Yeah, you know, truly appreciate it. it. Seems like that we're doing something right. So, yeah. Of course, you're doing some something right when you mix all those styles. Some of them has to be liked, right? Of course, you know, there will always be people who can relate to metal or punk or country or rock and roll or rock and roll, whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, we have a broad way of you know playing our music and get it out to the people. You seem to have a lot of energy on stage. Yeah, I think that's you know that that's part of it. You know, it, and it, it's a it's a natural feeling when you're up there. You know, you have to get rid of all the things going on in your body. So you know that that's that's part of the show. You know, you know, appreciating the audience and, and you know show them that that you really mean it. In general, it's all about you know deliver what people really deserve. You know, they bought the ticket, so they deserve a good show. You play a lot of gigs, uh, and there's uh, not many rest days. No. So, uh, how come you have all that energy? <laughs> I don't know. I actually ask myself that that question every day, because you know we are uh, we usually play on 115 shows per year, and uh, you know we're on the road constantly. And of course, we have some day offs where we do other stuff, but. Um, I think the energy comes from that we really like what we're doing. You know, that, that that's the battery. You know, seeing all the people who support Volbeat, you know, they give us the energy. Because there, there are nights where you said, oh, I really don't want to do it. But the same uh, moment you're on stage and you see the reaction from the audience, it's like new power. That's a kettle light out in the dark That's a kid's a case of lighting a smoke And he feels the fire And he feels the fire Your relationship to, to, to the audience, you said that they deserve a good show But uh, I was there last night and I, uh, I noticed that you, uh, you actually uh, quite a few times mentioned that uh, the audience was uh, some, some, something special and, and you love them and uh, do, do, do we do that all the time or? Uh? As, you know, as I said, you know, we, when we are on stage there are only, you know, it's, it's really not that hard to appreciate the audience because they buy the tickets, they're here seeing your show and you know, without the audience we cannot do what we're doing. Um, Yesterday I used a couple of hours actually to go out to the people at you know at the tent, uh, you know just sit there and drinking beer with them and just relaxing and you know, appreciating them being here and seeing Volpi. Uh, so I, from the bottom of my, of my heart, it's always very honest when we go up there and tell people that we love them and we appreciate their support and we always go out and talk to them. That, that's that's the truth. Scream like a big goodbye like a dog Just to get a taste and that's a treason you down the hole Do you feel it uh, the other way around too? That uh, your audience is uh, dedicated or...? Yeah, you know, they, they, they really respect us for, you know, being down to earth and go out there and 
to talk to them. As I said, VIP is it was actually the people out there. You know, they are the most the important one. You know, it's not all that shit. You know, you still have to do the interviews, and that's good. You know, uh, I like doing the interviews, but the important person is is the people out there, and that you know that's what I like go out there and talk to them. It's been a, a journey for you and, uh, and for your band. Uh, not many years ago you played uh, Stengade and uh, Pumpehuset in Copenhagen, small places and uh, all of a sudden it was uh, United States. So uh, would you like to, uh, to tell us uh, how you feel about that? Uh, first of all I think it's very sad that Stinga is about to close. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know, you know, they, they should definitely get the money from you know somewhere, you know. It, it's really sad if we have to close this beautiful uh, venue down. And I really love Pumpehus, Lappen, Stinga and you know all the, the small places we have in Copenhagen, you know, they are actually that's that's where Everybody starts, and they, everybody has a chance to deliver the music at this, those places. So I really hope that you know we can find some money somewhere to keep those uh, venues alive. Uh, but the thing is, Vault Beat grow bigger, and we we got into bigger venues and big halls, and uh, yeah, we just been to the U.S. And of course, that that's um, that's a beautiful thing, you know. Suddenly. Uh, a lot of people can relate to it and uh, you know back in the days it was always sold out the small places and people were asking why don't you play bigger places and it's gonna come it's gonna come we still like to do it you know on the ground so people can see what's going on but these days you know we, we moved into bigger halls and so everybody can get a ticket uh, and you know it, it's great to see the band grow like that but you know if the, the ship We sell yellow <laughs> all the way one day, you know, then we go back to Stinga or Lopem or whatever, you know, we just love what we're doing. The audience in the United States and the audience over here, is there uh, some differences? Uh, <laughs> the girls over there actually think that there are, there are girly shirts. It's uh, for the kids, you know, <laughs> the children, because <laughs> they're a little bit big. <laughs> so, now, you know, the audience is still, it's pretty much the same. But you, you know, you, you can see the difference when you're up on stage. It's all about when you go out and talk to them. Sometimes you can feel the difference, uh, but it's all very positive. Your next moves, where are you going to go? Oh, you know, now we have to finish all the... Uh, the festival gigs, I believe we have around 30 uh, this summer around Europe. And then there will be another tour around Europe. Maybe we go to the US again uh, later this year. Uh, gonna record a new album in the beginning of the new year. So we have to write new songs this year. So lots of activities on the road. Counting all the assholes in the room. Well, I'm definitely not alone. Well, I'm not alone. I read some place that you had you had a little uh, what do you call it uh, a little anxiety writing new numbers at a time. Uh, is it uh, coming more fluently to you now, or I don't think so. It, it's just like I can always sit down and write a song. It's just all about finding the right one. You know, have the right feeling that this is the right song. At the moment I think we have around seven new songs and I always skip around 20. So right now I'm actually riding on the road, you know, riding in, um, in the bus, hotel rooms and, and stuff like that and it seems to work out pretty good and uh, yeah, as I said right now we have six or seven songs and I definitely have around 10 songs that I haven't played for the other guys yet. So um, yeah, let, let, let's just hope that, that it's solid. <laughs> You said that you mix uh, genres, uh, but uh, you also mix uh, languages. 
Danish and English and yeah. uh, how, how did that come? You know, yeah, you should not forget where you're from. You know, we're uh, proud of being Danish, but of course we also like the language of US or, uh, or England or what you call it, but it's a fun thing to do and, and it seems to work out and people think it's funny and you know, I'm having a good time and mixing it a, a little bit. Um, so it's just a way to show people where we're from.